Dust Biosolutions turns dust into stone and much more. Today, I would like to introduce you to our employee of the month. His name is Tony, and Tony looks like this. He's a tiny little bacteria. He's extracted from soil. He's not genetically modified, and he's part of a portfolio of currently more than 40 microorganisms that we use. But Tony is not only an integral part of a technology platform that we have developed over the last five years, he's also the driving engine within our products. How do they look like? They come either in a solid form as a powder, where they have shelf lives of more than two, three years, or they come as a liquid. When they come as a liquid, then they look like a beer, because we are based in Munich. How could it be different? But if you pour that beer over almost any permeable material, then the material will get solidified. If you pour it over quartz sand, then you will receive sandstone, because the bacteria, they produce a mineral, calcium carbonate most of the time, and that's the reason why the technology is also called biological cementation or biomineralization. So, but um, how could, um, for what could that be good for? Have a look at that picture. That's um, a mine in Chile, in Latin America, and um, those clouds, they are not weather-related. That is dust from operations. And this dust is a huge problem, mainly due to four aspects. First of all, it has health implications, not only for the people working in that mine, but also for people living in close proximity. Secondly, it has environmental, um, it's, it's an environmental issue, it's a safety issue, and it also reduces the productivity of the operators. And um, overall, we are, not we are not that aware here in the middle of Europe, specifically with a weather like that, but um, the dust control market is a multi-billion market, and as of today, it either contains spraying huge amounts of water or using, most of the time, um, chemical products. So how do we solve that problem? We take Tony and a couple of his friends, and put him in existing equipment, like, for example, a sprinkler system or a spray, spray truck like this. Then we spread out the beer over sandy surfaces, and we achieve a kind of crust on the surface, and through this, a very long-term and sustainable solution to the dust problem. And um, that was one example of an existing product within the mining industry. We are currently working on two more products for the global resource industry, which will be ready um, next year. But we also have applications within, uh, within construction on the bottom left, and uh, mainly with a focus on Europe, but also um, within, um, within infrastructure, mainly unpaved roads. That's a big market um, in North America and in Southeast Asia. But most of our efforts currently actually go into agriculture. And um, there, um, sadly, I can't make that public, but currently we, have, we are having more than 30 field tests going on all over Europe. And we want to participate in making agriculture greener and more efficient. And um, I can give you more details off record, or we will also publish them mid of this year when we also will be changing our name because Dust Biosolutions will get a, um, a subgroup and um, we will just rebrand ourselves. But how can, to, can you participate? Actually, currently we are desperately looking for people. So if you have some, um, some smart people in your um, circle of friends or in your network, um, please um, shoot me an email, uh, talk to me. Um, if they can share our values, if they're interested in, because the common denominator of all those applications is for sure that we have a, a very clearly defined sustainability component. And um, I can invite, invite you guys to visit us in Munich so we can give you a tech demo so that you can touch that biological cementation technology, that um, we can give you a showcase, and of course, that we can introduce you to Tony. Thank you very much.